In today's tutorial, we are going to be looking into date formatting in Google Spreadsheets. Your date formatting is going to be based on where you are located. In my case, I have my settings pointed to United States, so I have my dates in US format, which means that I'm going to have the date starting with the month, then the day, and then the year. So what you have here in cell A1 is May 12, 2018. If you're not sure what your spreadsheet is showing you, you can double click the cell with the date and it's going to open this calendar for you so you can see that the month is May 2018 and the day is 12. You can play around with the format of the date by coming either to Format, Number, and you have already uh, some formats suggested here or you can come to more formats, more date and time formats and you can select if it were, if you, if you find that the month before the date is ambiguous for you and you have it set uh, to US, you can just change it and say for example you want the month actually written so you're never confused and you can find the same options by coming to this 1 to 3 here more formats, you click on it and again, you can come to more formats and more date and time formats and you are going to open the same menu that you opened before from format. And there's a ton of options. Okay, let me do Ctrl Z and we're back to the original format we had. You can play around, but bottom line, you're always going to have the date in US format. Now there is a way of changing this. You can come here to File. Then you're going to come down to Spreadsheet Settings. And you can change your locale. So locale is what's going to decide your date formatting. So for example, I at the moment have United States. And for this reason, I'm seeing month before day. So let me cancel and let's just have a second look. You see, I have May 12, 2018. Pay attention to this number. I'm going to come to File, Spreadsheet Settings. I'm going to change from US to UK. So now I selected UK. I'm going to save the settings. Now look how the date has been reformatted to have the day before the month. So now I have 12th of May 2018. So again, you can come either to format, number, and more formats, more date and time formats, or the same options are available for 1 to 3 here. Come down to more formats, more date and time formats. And you can play around with this here. But in the end, if you want to change day before month or month before day, you have to change your locale settings. Okay, so let's revert back to US. File, spreadsheet settings bringing it back to US, save settings and I have my month before the day again. I also want to show you a couple of shortcuts to find which day is today. There is a keyboard shortcut that you can use which is control semicolon. So I'm gonna go ahead and press control semicolon and that will give you today's date. So let's do this again, I'm going to undo you select any cell, control semicolon. Another day of find today's date is equals today. And you just press return and again this is today. The difference between these two is that if I open the spreadsheet tomorrow, the first one is hard coded and it still be May 12. This one, on the other hand, will be May 13th because it updates as the days go. I'm going to show you a use case for the dynamic today. 
So say you want to know how many days left until Christmas. Christmas is December 25. So what you can do is equals December 25 minus today. Now that doesn't mean anything. We have a problem with the formatting here. We're just going to come to one, two, three, and we're going to bring it to automatic. And here's our answer. There are 227 days left until Christmas. Because my formula is Christmas, which is hard coded, minus the today formula, which updates dynamically. Every day I'm going to come here and it's going to tell me exactly how many days are left until Christmas.